Thank you, Father God, for this day. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Open our hearts and help us to listen to you, to listen to the things you have to say to us through your word. I just pray that we would know you more and that we would bear fruit for you and that we would have that love and that joy and that peace and that patience and that self-control. Just help us to be how you want us to be. In your precious name, Amen. The Gospel of John, chapter 14. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am and you know the way to where I am going. No, we don't know, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had really known me, you would know who my Father is. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus replied, Have I been with you all this time, Philip? And yet you still don't know who I am. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking me to show him to you? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not my own. But my Father who lives in me does his work through me. Just believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or at least believe because of the work you have seen me do. I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father. You can ask for anything in my name and I will do it. So that the Son can bring glory to the Father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. If you love me, obey my commandments and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognise him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be with you, will be in you. No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. Soon the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Since I live, you also will live. When I am raised to life again, you will know that I am in my Father and you are in me and I am in you and I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. Judas not Judas Iscariot, but the other disciple with that name, said to him, 
Lord, why are you going to reveal yourself only to us and not to the world at large? Jesus replied, all who love me will do what I say. My father will love them and we will come and make our home with each of them. Anyone who doesn't love me will not obey me. And remember, my words are not my own. What I am telling you is from the Father who sent me. I am telling you these things now while I am still with you. But when the Father sends the advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Remember what I told you. I am going away, but I will come back to you again. If you really loved me, you would be happy that I am going to the Father, who is greater than I am. I have told you these things before they happen, so that when they do happen, you will believe. I don't have much more time to talk to you because the ruler of this world approaches. He has no power over me, but I will do what the Father requires of me so that the world will know that I love the Father. Come, let's be going. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you that you are the Son of God. You are truly God. Jesus, help our love to you not to just be lip service. If we truly love you, we'll do what you say. We'll live our lives in the way that pleases you and, and not in sin. We'll live our lives in a way that serves other people. Help us to remember that when we sing songs to you, to truly love you. And Holy Spirit, thank you for coming into our lives. And Holy Spirit, I pray that you would flood us with your life. And as I mentioned, before the reading. Let us have that fruit of love and joy and peace and patience and hope and I can't remember them all, but flood us with them, Holy Spirit, and put us in situations that would help us to grow in you. You're beautiful, my Lord and my God. I love you, Jehovah, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit. And you're precious and glorious and beautiful name. Amen. <laughs>